right, here's three projects that I'm going to work on in this video. There's possibly another one, but I don't know if I'm going to get my product in. I ordered it last week, and it should be here tomorrow, and I don't even know if I'll have time to uh, get it in here. But anyways, I have three projects here, and it's all decoupage. And, and the reason I'm doing this is when I have a shelf, I have two or three shelves that I put things on and I decorate, but it needs some kind of height. And that I can set these lightweight. What these are are just shingles. My husband brought them home to me. And they're lightweight, and I can just set them up behind and have something for a little height on the shelf without hanging a picture over it. Because what I have, a picture, I already have. Anyways, this is what I want. I can't explain it. <laughs> this is printed out on an eight and a half, eleven plain sheet of copy paper. This is a legal size here. This is a legal size, but I really didn't need to use the legal, legal size. I could have used the regular. And I've bought all three of these images off of Etsy. And if I can find them, I'll link them below. I not, I just got this one, I think, yesterday. And it had, you can buy it by itself, or you can buy one. Here I've had one, another one printed out. It has the candy cane, and another one has a wreath, but it, it goes landscape like that and I need it up like this if I'm going to give my shelf some something with some height behind it anyways this one had the wreath the candy cane and the Christmas tree but I think you can get each one of these from that seller individually if you didn't want all three of them and they'd be a little cheaper I think it was on sale today I don't know how long that's going to last I don't know if they put those up there to say that. I don't know. But all three of them, the images were high quality images and they were $5. But anyways, I'm going to decoupage these on and possibly decorate the top of them a little bit. Most definitely the Christmas tree. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I want to decorate this. And I, I think I got this... I got down in my Christmas uh, craft stuff. I've got three buckets full down here. I can't hardly find anything. And I had this little baggie of stuff. Just stuff stuffed in a baggie. <laughs> Anyways, I had cut this down. And I thought maybe I put that there. And it just looked cheesy. I just didn't like the stuff. So I looked around and I found, I'm going to kind of keep those grouped. This kind of, I've got the, I got this out of a, some potpourri also, Christmas potpourri. And it looks real. It might be. I don't know. But anyways, I found a piece and I thought I could add it right here. It just looks real. So I am going to follow that little tree that's there and put that right there, I think. I hope I want to do this because once it's down, it's down. Uh, I'll go for it. I don't like it. I can't make another one because I don't have any more shingles. I've used all my shingles. Okay, is my blue gun hot? Yep. Yeah. So, I'm going to follow this tree, whoa, up. <laughs> I've had too much coffee, I think. Put that there. And go right where that one was. I need to make that one, this trunk here straight. I want to smash my stuff out just a little bit in the shape of a tree. Okay, do I have some up here I can do that with? It's already glued down. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, we'll leave that like that. Then I got, then I have a there's a wreath up here, so I thought maybe I could put a real wreath there. So I got me some pieces. Okay, 
I'm going to start putting it on. Which side? It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Probably ought to cut that little piece there off. Just a little bit. There's some glue. All right, let's see. Oh no, there's Kit Kat. under my legs. It's not good when she comes in. She jumps up right in the middle of everything. Don't do it, Kit Kat. I feel you back there on my chair. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, let's see. This little piece here doesn't really want to round. Maybe I can just use that much of it. Got some glue on it. Go up underneath there like that. Yeah, that'll work. Didn't do a very good job of not getting hot glue on it. I'll click that off. Oh boy, I shall let that hang in some. I know. Fill that in. Let me see. I got some glue right there, so I don't know whether to fill it in or put a little bow on it. Let me see what I got here. It's kind of too big. But maybe time I tie it in a bow. strings off from it. I don't know if I'm going to put this on there, but I'm going to look at it. See if I can make one small enough out of this. that looks it still may be too big bring it down just a little bit there that one looks right can I cut my tail off more That wind's a whipping there today. It's cold out and that wind blows and it it's cold. I had to go let some chickens out this morning because they refused to go into the big coop. They go into the little co coop where we grew them out and we usually train them to go in the other one, but 
These are stupid chickens. Two weeks of going out every night and putting them in the big coop. And they still go in the little coop at night. And they're, it's getting too cold for that. I guess I'm going to have to sell them. They're hens. They're not even laying yet. Probably in another month, they'll be laying. And I really wanted them, but they're stupid I don't know. Okay. Well, it gives it something, I guess. I may not put that on there. I don't know. Hmm. What do y'all think? I don't mind the little tree because it'll be down towards the bottom. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll put it on. It'll give it some depth, give it something. It'll probably look cute setting up. I'll put just a little bit of hot glue on it in case I can want to pull it off. I can pull it off real easy. Okay, but you know what? I should have, before I started decorating this, I should have gave this, given this some brown wax. Well, I'll let that dry and see what I'm going to do from there. Okay, I have my brown wax. It's the one I always use by Jolie. And I'm going to go around my edges of my board. I had to get my good scissors out. I better put those back in my sewing deal because I don't want to be using them other than on material. Okay, I don't know what else I'll do to that, if anything. Probably just leave it like that. All right, I'm putting the Dixie Belle drop cloth color on here, and I don't think I'm going to just give it a solid coat. I'm gonna hang on to it and start the top of it. Oh, I just twisted it. Just don't want that one piece of paper coming off over there. It needs to be faced right. All right. And I'm using Mod Podge. Okay, put that all the way. I'll cut, coat the top of it with Mod Podge too so I can go up further and not worry about it. Get the sides here. I did get a little further out than I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting this on with the Mod Podge. Then I'm going to go over it also on top with Mod Podge. I'm going to go over that with some wax, round wax.
and go over my board, especially around the edges. Did I say black wax? It's brown wax. I don't remember. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that like that. I'm probably going to be getting out some more of these. I know I have some short ones. Probably do something like that. All right, I've been pulling out stuff. I've had my room a mess pulling out and trying to figure out what I was going to do. I ended up, I showed you I was going to probably put these two things, these Christmas tree parts here. I didn't glue that. So, and then I found this little piece here, and it needed something in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that on there. Kind of downward because... I don't want to pile everything on top and it be that hot, you know, high. I'm going to hold that for a minute. I'm going to put that one pine cone right back there to kind of fill that in. I need a glue stick. I don't want to let go of that yet because I want it down good and tight. Okay, I'm going to find another sack of pine cones and some small pine cones to fill in. Okay, I found some more pine cones. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. I'm trying to see. I want a little brighter or bigger. I want some more berries on it besides these dull ones. And what I had, these had the brighter ones on. I didn't think that fit in with it, so I cut the darker ones off. I think that would look good in there. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in there. Let's see, here's another one. Okay, I don't know if I should need another pine cone. There's a bale, there's a bale. I don't know if those will show up because some I had in my stash that had cinnamon on it. I wonder if I could... I don't like the gold gold ones. I don't want them hanging because then they hang down on the deer. These are even too small. Yeah, I think those are too gold. I'll put one right there. To get that bow to hang down or stay down. I really didn't want the bow, but I wasn't going to tear it all apart to take it off. And I'm trying to figure out, is that too many bear or too many pine cones? It's still not staying down, I guess because of the Greenery. Okay. Probably putting way too much thought into this. Hmm. Need to lift it up, see what it needs. It almost doesn't need much more. Really. Okay. 
Okay, I think I will put that right there. I hope you, I'm in frame. And maybe that underneath there. I know what I could do. I know, I know. To get those bells just a little shimmer, a little something without being bright gold. get my rub and buff. This is antique gold. And put a little bit of that on there. Now I have a little of shimmer, but not look brand new bright gold. Should have done that before I put that on there. Wipe my fingers off. I think that might help. Okay, a little more. Okay, I'm going to call that good. Wipe my fingers off the lid back on that. Now, I glue that down underneath here. This isn't going to be outside, so the glue should hold. The hot glue. Taking all afternoon just to do the topper. It's probably not that big a deal. Okay. Kind of hold that up and see what it looks like. See if I'm happy with it. I'm going to call that one done. And now what do I have left? The Christmas tree. Okay, it's a good thing this didn't. I didn't do much to this one because I thought I was filming and I wasn't, and I didn't do a lot to it. It's probably my least favorite out of the three of them that I've done so far. I just put some brown wax around the edges and took a rusty star and put some antique gold rub and buff on it, and then just dotted some the rub and buff on the tree. That's it. That's all I done to this one. Now, I found one more shingle that I haven't done anything to, and it's just part of a shingle because part of it's broke off. But I have an idea for it, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, um, it's going to be really a fast, easy project. I'm going to take these bells here and put them on it. That first thing I'm going to do is just give this a dry brush so that things show up because brown, you know, things don't show up very well. So I'm going to get my paint out and do a quick dry brush on this. All right, I just got some of the Waverly plaster out and given this a quick dry brush. I'm not really sure how dark I'm wanting it, but I do want some wood grain. I want some wood showing, so. but I do need the background for other things to show up. Or I just leave it wood. What did I, where is it? I cut this stencil out with my Cameo. I need the thin side, because your shingles start thick and get thin down here. So I'm gonna put the thick up to the top. And I have this Joy to the World that I'm going to put on it. Okay, I got my stencil on there that I cut with my Cameo, and I'm just stenciling it on. That's just all I'm doing. Then there, from there, I'll go to decorating and using my bells and seeing how I'm going, how I'm going to do that. All 
right, I think I'm finished with this one. I kept it just kind of simple. I put the greenery on and then made a, a little messy bow with some uh, jute and some berries and some small pine cones. And I'm finished with that one. All right, guys, until the next video, y'all be safe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.